Do you ever wake up nauseous and you're lacking an appetite because you feel like you're going to vomit? So do you skip breakfast and maybe you've adopted an intermittent fasting lifestyle because you always wake up nauseous and don't want to vomit and the thought of food makes you think you're going to throw up? Well, eating may be exactly what you need to do to stop that symptomatology. I'm Dr. John Bartimus, and I'm putting the pieces together to help you live a life at Optimal. If you're waking up nauseous, or you vomit when you wake up, or maybe you're not nauseous or vomiting, but you just have no appetite and the thought of food repulses you, you may be suffering from functional reactive hypoglycemia or hangry, like the Snickers commercials. It's possible that overnight, you, your blood sugar is falling so low that it's triggering a neurologic reaction or neurologic neurologic symptoms such as hangry people suffer from when they go too long without eating. Every person is different, so the possible symptoms are broad, but it could include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, maybe feeling shaky and irritable or lightheaded, maybe dizziness or vertigo, maybe short fuse and, and mood disorder, or not disorders, but mood, moody when you wake up. So if this is you, one of the best ways to deal with this and mediate this would be to eat breakfast. And so, yes, intermittent fasting for the right people is a great strategy, but intermittent fasting for the whole population is not a good strategy. Remember, we have to know the person in front of us and the context of their lifestyle and their physiology in order to say, hey, intermittent fasting is correct or not correct. Hey, you need breakfast or you don't. Hey, you need paleo or you don't. Hey, you need X diet or you don't. So if you ask me, hey, is this diet healthy? I can't say yes. I have to say, well, who are we talking about? So if you're someone who's waking up nauseous and food repulses you, you may need to actually eat because that may be being driven by dysglycemia or blood sugar, balance, blood sugar imbalance on the hangry end of the spectrum. The hangry end of the spectrum usually affects um, slender, thinner people, whereas insulin resistance is going to be more on the um, bigger bone side, shall we say. So if you are a, a, a thinner person and you eat like a bird and you're skipping breakfast on purpose as, say, like an intermittent fasting style type lifestyle, then blood sugar drops may be what's causing you to be repulsed by breakfast and nauseous when you wake up. So the simplest thing to do would be experiment with introducing food up to the point of a whole breakfast when you wake up and see if that takes those symptoms away. And if it does, bingo. If it doesn't, then there's a deeper or alternate metabolic and or neurologic driver to your case that needs to be discovered by a functional practitioner.